Are you a struggling student who is filled with assignments and constantly needs the copy and paste function? Are you someone who changes your partner more than you change your clothes and constantly needs to permanently delete old memories? Are you someone who still plays Among Us and constantly needs to mute or unmute your mic? Or are you someone who constantly needs to type constantly in your script? Well, if that sounds like you, then a macro keyboard is what you need. So what exactly is a macro keyboard? Basically, a macro keyboard allows you to perform shortcuts with a key instead of a sequence of keys. So today I'm going to show you how I built and programmed one for my friend Ben to use it as a stream deck. For this project, I'm going to be using some mechanical switches, 10k ohm resistors, a PCB, some jumper wires, and a Pro Micro board which uses the 8MB32U4 chip. With this chip, our project can act as a HID when connected by a USB. HID stands for Human Interface Device. Basically, your mouse and your keyboard are examples of it. Here's how the circuit is going to work. Here we have our VCC followed by a switch and a pull down resistor connected to ground. We will connect this point to our digital input pin which will be read from the program. If the switch is open, the pin will be pulled down to ground and we will read a zero from the program. And when the switch is closed, the pin will be connected to VCC and we will read a one. The pull down resistor ensures that our input pin is grounded properly when the switch is open such that we don't get a random reading. If we want more keys, we can just extend it like so. Before building the real thing, I tried it out on a breadboard first. The circuit is basically the same as what I've drawn earlier, with two buttons connected to digital pin 2 and 3 respectively. Right now, I'm gonna write a program to make these two buttons do copy and paste. First, I'm gonna include the built-in keyboard library in Arduino IDE and assign each button to its digital pin. Then, I'm gonna define the pins as input pins. As you can see, I'm using arrays because I want to expand the code for more keys later. Then, I initiated the libraries function. In the loop, we want to check each button and see if any of it is pressed. And if you have worked with buttons or switches before, you will know that we need to give them some debounce time to get the correct input. So, this is just a short debounce time. The millis function will return the time that has passed since your program has begun in milliseconds. This is a useful function if you want to create a delay without actually stopping the entire program. I'm also going to create a variable to track which key is pressed. And I'm going to use the switch statement to switch between the functions of the keys. So, let's verify it. Made a mistake over here. And I also messed up the definitions. By the way, I'll link the library down in the description below so you can check out the key definitions and modify your program accordingly. I have uploaded the code onto the board, so let's try it out. So once I confirmed that it works, the next thing I did was soldering everything onto the PCB and started to design a casing for the keyboard. So I'll let you enjoy a small montage of that. After a day of soldering and printing later, here it is. So right now I'm going to show you how you can use it with OBS since my friend Ben is going to use it as his stream deck. But of course, this is just an example. You can basically use it with any other program that has a hotkey. Once you're in OBS, it's pretty straightforward. Click Files and Settings and click on the Hotkeys menu. Then, just press the key that you want to assign the function to. And that's it.
So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave me a like and subscribe and share it with your friends. A huge shout out to Ben for entrusting me with this project. You guys can check him out on Twitch if you are into editing and some indie games. Anyways, I know a lot of you are waiting for the next Robot Dog video. It is on its way, so until then, stay tuned and stay safe.